starting a new vlog. Um, it is Thanksgiving morning. Yes, I fell asleep with my makeup on. Don't recommend. I don't normally do that, but I was so uh, lazy and tired uh, last night, so I fell asleep with it. Um, again, do not recommend. So, I just got from Pango. And the reason why I got it from Pango and not Amazon was because I had Pango bucks. So I think they had this listed for like, like $16. Um, and I had some Pango bucks to make that last. So I did buy a sec secluded cabin sleep six. And I'm really excited to read this because this is one of my most anticipated. So I'll be reading that. Um, I do have today, tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday off, so we have a four-day weekend, um, so hopefully I can get it done. I'm just gonna go wash my face and brush my teeth out. Good morning. Hello, we're back from Thanksgiving dinner. Are, are you all changed? Yes. I was meaning to, like, maybe vlog some of the food, but I forgot. Um, we spent time over my husband's aunt's house so i don't know about you or how anybody else does thanksgiving but we in my family have like thanksgiving dinner so we don't start until like five four or five but his family always does like noon or one o'clock so it's like five o'clock now we just got home it was about an hour drive um oof. did I get any reading done no I started reading secluded cabin sleep six um I got a couple pages in and then life happened so now that we're home I'm gonna change into my pjs and we're gonna go downstairs and hopefully um, watch some football and read. I kind of wish I had like you know, wine and some dessert or something. Did I just come back from a dinner? Yes. Am I gonna get hungry again soon? Yes. Anyways, how's your Thanksgiving going? If you celebrate, what did you have for Thanksgiving dinner? We had turkey, chicken, mashed potatoes, stuffing, of course, um, green beans, like salads, um, pasta, which was good, and then like desserts. We had a cake because it was his cousin's birthday in a few days, so they did like a cake for her birthday. Should I be hungry right now? No. But do I want something to munch on? Yeah.
on lunch at work. So I am not going to... <laughs> I'm not going to give you a synopsis of what I've read so far from um, Secluded Cabin Sleep 6. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> Whoops. Now people are going to look out the windows. It was an accident. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, uh, because I'm on break and it's kind of awkward because I'm right at the... Um, like windows of everybody so everybody can probably see me at work. <laughs> um, so sorry for the angle because I'm trying to keep you as low as possible. But anyways, I just wanted to quickly um, talk to you about, these are very small things, but they're things that bother me for some reason. But um, there've been some discrepancies <laughs> in and this very small ones and like have nothing to do with the plot but like things that I notice um for one it's talking about one of the characters and what she was wearing and they were talking about like her skirt and then like a little while later um one of the other characters like was complimenting what she was wearing and they said her like shirt dress and it's like dress is different from a skirt but whatever so then, okay, I'm at another um, point in the book. It is um, multiple POVs, and then one of the POVs is back in 1997. And it follows this young 13-year-old boy. And it said that it was like, oh, he watched SpongeBob, which was silly, childish, but always funny. This is 1997. Spongebob didn't come out until 1999. <laughs> Which I think is another, like... Because I was, like, I was thinking about it. I was, like, oh, yeah, I, like, I really enjoyed Spongebob, too. And then I was, like, wait a minute. 1997? So I looked it up, and I was, like, the first episode of Spongebob didn't even come out until 1999. So, I don't know. Those are two very small things, obviously. Um they're not it doesn't affect my enjoyment of the book because I am enjoying it I just it's little things like that that for some reason I remember that bother me <laughs> um so I just felt like telling you <laughs> um now that I have beeped the horn and made everybody aware that I am filming in my car <laughs> I've also uh like right in front of me to my where my eyes are pointing, <laughs> there's like a whole bunch of guys like around a fire. So I accidentally laid on the horn and everybody looked at me. That's great. Um, but now that I have thoroughly embarrassed myself, I'm going to go back. I'm going back in. Um, and maybe I'll park somewhere different tomorrow. <laughs> oh, it's Friday. <laughs> I'll update you later um, on giving you, like, what's going on in the book and what it's actually about and how far I am and all that. But I just wanted to share because I noticed it. Okay. Good morning. So, I thought I would just talk to you while I did my makeup and got ready for work. So, I figured I would take this time and chat with you for a bit. Um, so as you know, I'm reading Secluded Cabin Sleep 6 by Lisa Unger. Came out the beginning of November. Honestly, I didn't know any, really anything about it when I was excited to read it because it just sounds interesting. Secluded Cabin Sleep 6. Fun. Fun. Spooky, scary thrilling. Let's do this, right? So, Secluded Cabin Sleeps 6. Um, the story does open up um, with this family on Christmas. Uh, yeah, Christmas Day. So, you're following the main character who is Hannah, and she is with her family on Christmas Day. And um, 
you know, it. she's with her mom, her dad, her brother, Mako, um, who is another character, I guess, side character, but anyways, her brother, Mako, his wife, Liza, and her husband, Hannah's husband, Bruce, um, and they had just finished <clears throat> Christmas dinner and they gather around like the Christmas tree and there are presents for everybody under the tree and it says like to like Hannah from Santa to Bruce from Santa blah 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 like it goes on and they're like oh like who sent these and the dad is like I don't know but like they were they were in here and she was like yeah sure like they were in here um but he's like no really like I didn't I didn't give you guys these these presents this isn't for me um, and so they're trying to go around the room and like, like Mako, did you do this? And he's like, no. Um, and they open up the presents and in each one, there's like that DNA kit. Um, like, I don't know, the ones that tell you like who, who your family is. I don't, I don't really know what kind of kit cause I know there's a lot out there, but anyways, um, every, each one of them. Um, ends up getting like this DNA kit and they're like okay thanks for the Christmas present whoever sent these so anyways um you know that's that's that that's the mystery of that and um Hannah's brother Mako ends up inviting Hannah her husband Hannah's best friend Cricket by the way most annoying name of a book Hannah's best friend Cricket and her like new boyfriend Joshua to a secluded cabin out in the woods um for like bonding time for hiking for nature stuff um so they all decide that they're gonna go and they are in Florida so they keep hearing people say like a really big storm is coming in but um you know they're not really too worried about it um this book does follow several POVs. Um, you're following Hannah, you're following Liza, which is Mako's um, wife or Hannah's sister-in-law. You're following three other POVs and I really don't know if I wanna tell you two of them. So I'm not going to. I'm not gonna tell you two of them because I, I don't wanna give you that much detail. Um, and then one of the other POVs is of this boy in 1997. What he has to do with the story, we don't know yet. And just like of his life and his mom who was slightly weird and how she um, was murdered and then he had to like live with, you know, um, foster, like a foster mom. So his POV is still weird because we don't know how it ties into this whole story. But yeah, so the group gets to the cabin, right? This is the normal Hannah and Liza POV. And Hannah has a lot of anxiety. Um, she is a new mom, so she has a baby at home so she is anxious about that because this is her first time leaving her daughter and going away and this just being like her and her husband and you know their family and friends um so she's anxious about that her husband is acting weird like he had mentioned something to her in the cabin um before they had all went to dinner and like he never elaborated and because they were like they were being called like from downstairs like hey whoever's here let's get ready for dinner she didn't press him but he seems very off um she keeps saying that mako her brother seems very off cricket's boyfriend her new boyfriend she's like she looks at him and she's like have i seen you before and he's like no so i mean I'm still in like before the 50% mark so nothing is still really clicking so at the moment we know that they may or may not be being watched 
at the cabin. I don't, I don't know how much to tell you, honestly. Um, they're secluded. And this cabin is far. It doesn't have like really any service. Even the chef, which was, is weird, honestly. Like the chef of the dinner, because it is a secluded cabin, but I guess her brother is like bougie. So he hired a chef um, to cook dinner. So the chef is really weird. The host of the cabins are really weird. Even, oh, there was one part, for some reason, I don't know why I like, I like horror movies set in like secluded cabins. <laughs> Um, and there was this one part where Cricket and her... Oh, I think you also follow Cricket. So I lied. There's five POVs. So Hannah, Liza, Cricket, and then two others that I won't explain. So you, you also do follow the, like, best friend's point of view. And they ended up, before they got to the cabin, um, a little town just before you go into the, like, the woods and drive like miles to this cabin there was like a little sh a little town that was pretty run down pretty uh like practically non-existent um but this little um shop I don't know if it was like a gas station or something I don't know but they had went in <clears throat> for some stuff and even the guy behind the counter was really weird and he was like there's a storm rolling in and they're like, yeah, we'll, we'll be careful. And, um, like, he's like s staring at Cricket and she's like, like, fight me. Like what? <clears throat> and, um, he's like, well, y'all have fun up there. And then she's like, how does he like, she, they never said where exactly they were going. And she's like, how does he know? Like, where up there is <clears throat> I don't know that scene creeped me out it didn't creep me out but it like sorry I'm trying to be fast and that does this just doesn't happen I don't know why I'm spending this long on my eyes it's probably because I am talking and I'm not actually paying attention because actually this is supposed to be really fast carefree makeup and right now it's not going very fast so that part like <clears throat> it didn't creep me out but I liked it <laughs> because I like that feeling of like the town knows the, the creepiness and what's going on and honestly it kind of reminded me of like I don't know the town in like house of wax or you know, where it's like abandoned and stuff like that. It's like creepy. <clears throat> That's kind of how I felt. But anyways, I mean, I haven't really gotten too far. All I know thus far is um, that people have some secrets. And, um, oh, also, for some reason, we don't know what's happening with Liza, but they're at the cabin and she is getting these really bad pains and I don't know if they're like period pains I don't really remember um what kind of pains they were but they're really bad and so she's like it's their first night there and she's like barely functioning let me talk to you after I do this <laughs> oh okay so Liza she's not feeling well but at the same time she's getting weird text messages and one of the text messages that she got while she was at the cabin was like, I see you. And she's like, who is this? And um, <clears throat> um, he was like, he just like, whoever it is, he, she, I don't know, repeated like, I see you. So she was like, she was like, first of all, they never answered who they were. <laughs> and then she was like, where are you and they were like in the cabin like <clears throat> i guess there's like a mini kind of guest cabin from the main big cabin that's like through through the woods and um 
he's like, you have some, like, come here so we can talk in person. You have something that belongs to me. And she goes, and what if I don't? Something like that. Something, first off, stupid. Because if somebody is saying that they're hiding in the cabin across the woods and you don't know who they are, why are you, why are you mess, like, messing with them? <clears throat> She's like, and what if I don't? And he was like, whoever it is, this anonymous person, was like, then I'm going to burn your, your house down, bitch. Like, so <clears throat> we don't know what, like, a lot of different things are happening. So Liza is not feeling well. She's getting these four text messages. Her husband, Mako, who is the host, is acting weird, like, according to Hannah. And Hannah and Mako have been, like, really close her whole life or the whole life. So it's like, she knows when he's acting weird. So Mako's acting weird. Then Hannah's husband Bruce is like kind of acting weird like how he wanted to tell her something and she like they didn't get the chance so now she has that in the back of her head. Um, she feels like she may know Cricket's new boyfriend but she doesn't know how. The only one that's actually acting normal is cricket cricket really um hannah is just very suspicious of everything and she she kept saying like that she felt watched um so yeah right now not too much has happened besides her like creepy dinner and I don't know people like acting weird but no like reveals have happened yet and I'm about 35% of the way in which is normal I mean it's not even halfway to get any reveals but yeah that is that is what is happening at the moment in this book um I am enjoying it it is I'm having a hard time, like, finishing it. Um, like, it's taking me a long time to read it. I started it two weeks ago for, like, the, the clips that you saw earlier were Thanksgiving. It is now December 7th. Um, so it's taken me a while to read. Honestly, I've been listening to the audiobook mostly when I'm on break at work because I do have an hour lunch um so I have my lunch I sit in my car I listen to the audiobook um but yeah that's all that's really going on <laughs> so um I'll try to update you when something happens but obviously not tell you what happens I'll just let you know like woof my feelings and my thoughts and hopefully I can get this done before the end of this week end before the before the end of the week um so I can get this video up uh so yeah so um if you're this far and if you're also reading and about 30% of the way into this book, what do you think? Um, I feel like it's a drama filled <clears throat> at the moment. Um, I just kind of want something to happen now. You know what I mean? I don't know. Um, anyways, I will get back to you when I have read some more. <laughs> Hello. So... That whole footage that you have just watched, um, the beginning obviously was Thanksgiving, um, when we were at Hollister Garden, um, those clips in there, that was back in October. And then that last clip that you saw was back in the beginning of, the beginning of December. It is now February, so it's taken me a long time. I am not going to force myself to do anything I don't want to do. <laughs> uh, 
And it's clearly for January, I was just chilling and that's okay. So I wanted to come out here to finish up this vlog. You'll see me in the same frame at a previous vlog actually, because I think that one's coming out first. Um, or no, this one's coming out first. You'll see me in the same, the same clip in a different vlog that you'll see um, next after this. But I just started a different one and figured that I would end this one. Um, I did ask on Instagram if <clears throat> you wanted to see the vlog, even if I DNF'd the book. And you guys said yes. So here I am because I DNF'd secluded cabin sleep six. I was so disappointed. Oh, <laughs> I was so excited. I was so excited about that book. Yeah. I don't even know how far I made it in, but I didn't, I didn't want to read it anymore. And I wasn't going to force myself because it just wasn't doing it for me. It wasn't really what I thought it was going to be. And then they had some different perspectives coming in that, um, <clears throat> it just, I don't know. It just didn't do it. So I am going to quickly talk to you about my feelings and then end this vlog. Um, this is going to be spoiler or somewhat spoiler. I don't know. I don't even know if this is really a spoiler, but it's more about the book that I'm talking about than I did previously. So if you don't want, like, if you want to read this book and don't want really anything, then thank you so much for watching. Sorry, this took me months to make and finish, but thanks for watching and I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Um, if you are going to stay and listen to me talk about this book. It, there's only so much spoilers that I can spoil because I DNF'd it, okay? So just a heads up that if you don't want anything to know about this, if you don't want to know anything about this book going in and you're planning on reading it, have a great, have a great day. <laughs> I'll see you in my next one. Um, Okay, so just put that spoiler thing here. Um, so those two other perspectives that I wasn't adding in there, um, one of them was Bracken and he is the owner of these cabins. Um, and then the other one was from Trina. Now Trina has, as far as I know, nothing to do with the main characters so like you kind of figure out pretty quickly that she's the one like watching them oh my gosh I don't even know where to begin oh yeah so you have Bracken you have Trina and then you have Henry who you're like what is going on I'm just waiting for everything to kind of intertwine I don't even know. I don't know. I finished off at like, I guess Trina was trying to get back at Mako because she used to work for Mako. And I don't know if she was like in love with him or something. I'm not sure. But she, she's watching them and she's in the other cabin. And I guess she's the one who was texting Liza so Liza makes it over to the other, <clears throat> Liza makes it over to the other cabin that this person was saying that they were at. It was Trina and Cricket's boyfriend, what he has to do with it. I don't even know, but it was Cricket's boyfriend too. And they like, they stabbed Liza. And I'm pretty sure you think that she's dead, but she's not. Um... I don't know. I tried to look at like spoiler vlogs for this, but not too, like, I don't know. Something must be where I think what happens is 
I guess Henry, who, what does he even have to do with this? I don't even know. I don't know. It was just going way too slow for me. I wasn't interested. Like, what did Henry have to do with it? I don't know. I believe that <clears throat> Henry was adopted and his real father was Mako and Hannah's father, maybe. And also Trina. Maybe that was it. I think that they were all, like, those are the kids that didn't make it in to the family, I guess. So, like, Trina is getting revenge on them. And that's why they had the whole, like, DNA test kit thing. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, please do not leave any spoiler comments down below. Um, but do DM me on Instagram and if you want to talk about this or like clear things up, like what happened? Can somebody tell me what happened? Um, cause I, I want to know what happened. I just don't, I don't want to read it. I just already want to know like how this all comes together. Um, because it was, it wasn't getting good. And I think I also left on make it like there's the huge storm was in <clears throat> on the cabin mako and hannah's husband i forgot his name ben try to go to the other cabin where trina was supposedly at they try to go to that cabin because they're trying to find liza because they don't find her in in the cabin and there's blood on her sheets um, so they're going out into the storm looking for her. So then now it's like Cricket, her boyfriend, and Hannah. But then Hannah leaves for some reason and leaves Cricket alone in the cabin with her boyfriend. And her boyfriend starts acting really weird. And I think he was going to like kill her or something. I don't know. I don't know, honestly. Um,. I'm I'm pretty disappointed. It's not what I thought it was going to be. And that's okay. And I do hope that it finds its audience and that people love it and enjoy it. Um, it just wasn't me. Um, so I did give it to my coworker <laughs> who um, she had just given me another Lisa Unger book. It was Girl Ghosted, Ghosted Girl, something like that. Um, she gave me that book because she, she finished it and she couldn't bring it back to the store. So she's like, here, give this one a read. So I was like, oh, Lisa Unger, Lisa Unger. So I gave her my copy of <clears throat> uh, Secluded Cabin Sleep 6. And I hope she enjoyed it. Um, I really hope she did, but I didn't. And I'm pretty disappointed. Um, so if you want to spoil it for me, please tell me what happened. <laughs> in my Instagram DMs and not in the comments below, please, because that's not nice. Um, so yeah, that's the end of this vlog that has taken months and months and months. And I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one because I already started it.